Hi everyone, I'm Bowen. I'm glad to present our paper, Bundle SDF. Given an input of RGBD sequence with the initial mask of a novel unseen object, our method is able to track the sixth of object poles while doing 3D reconstruction. In particular, our method does not assume object priors such as category, shape, or semantics. It also does not assume interaction agents prior and performs causal processing over the video stream sequentially without accessing to future information. Here is a quick preview of the results on various setup, including human body interaction, robot arm interaction, and human hand interactions. Challenges such as severe occlusions, fast motion, far sensing range, textless, and symmetric objects frequently appear. However, our method is able to stably track the sixth of pose of the object throughout the video without any reinitialization, and simultaneously performs high quality 3D reconstruction for all visible faces. Bundle SDF first performs coarse post initialization by registering the latest frame against its previous neighboring frame. To refine the post, an online post graph is performed by selecting a subset frames from the memory pool. The refined post becomes the output tracked post. We also add a frame to the memory pool if the post is from a normal view. On another thread, EuroObject field models the object geometry and texture. It fetches the frames and their previously estimated poses from the memory pool. The neural object field is trained per scene without any pre-training, so as to generalize to novel unseen objects. The memory frame's poses are also trained and updated to the memory frame pool to reduce long-term tracking drift. In particular, the bidirectional data exchange between the post graph and the neural field is the key for robust tracking. The online post graph represents the historical frames as nodes the edges are connected by three types of losses, including the feature match loss, the point-to-plane ICP loss, and the SDF loss of the current frame's point cloud while looking up the neural sign distance field. For the neural object field, we take all frames from the memory pool and their previously estimated poses. We construct an oak tree based on the merged point cloud and sample only the occupied regions along the way. For position encoding, we look up the multi-resolution hash encoding for the sample point. We use a geometry network to learn a mapping to the SDF values. Later on, the object mesh can be extracted from the sign distance field using marching cubes. We use another appearance network to model the texture. It takes the geometric latent code from the geometry network, the normal from SDF, and the viewing direction from previously estimated object poles, and renders the color. The training loss includes the supervision from SDF, color, and icon regularization. The optimizing variables include appearance and geometry network, the multi-resolution hash grid, and the object poses of each memory frame. For efficient SDF learning, we divide the space into three regions. The orange area in the rays corresponds to the uncertain free space, which are emitted from the background mask. The red area in the rays corresponds to the empty space, which is in front of the sensed depth. For those areas, we are highly confident it's not hitting the object and thus empty. The blue area in the rays corresponds to the near surface space, which is close to the depth point cloud. Now let's take a look at the results. Behave dataset is a human object interaction dataset. We only use one camera view for object tracking and reconstruction. Since the videos are recorded with a Kinect camera at a far distance, the depth point cloud are usually noisy. In the video, there are large motions caused by human swinging the object. The table object is also textureless and has thin structures at the legs. However, our method outperforms the existing approaches significantly and even get closest to the ground truth in terms of the pose tracking. On the final 3D reconstruction, comparison methods usually fail because of the tracking loss. Our reconstruction gets even more flat surface and complete shape. Next, we show how bundle SDF is robust to noisy depth and segmentation. On the left, the merged point cloud is of poor quality even when using ground truth poses to align the point cloud. This is due to the noisy depth at far distance. The object segmentation is also imperfect, introducing many background points. On the right, we show the post tracking and the 3D reconstruction by bundle SDF. Despite this noisy information, not only is the tracking reliable, but also the neural reconstruction automatically learns a smooth and clean mesh. Next, we evaluate our actual 3D dataset, which includes human hand and object interactions. Here, the blue picture is in lack of texture. Around the edges, such as picture mouth and handle, the depths are usually missing for geometric features. 
when the handle is not visible, the certain draw shape causes symmetric ambiguity. Competitive methods, bundle track, and the joint slam are not able to track the handle correctly. In contrast, our method reliably tracks until the end of the video without any reinitialization. Due to the tracking ambiguity, bundle track and the joint slam has sweeping volume in the final reconstruction. However, our method does not have such issue. Next, we show comparisons on the YCB in OAT dataset, which includes the robot arm and object interactions. The videos are reported from the robot's egocentric view using a Kinect camera. The robot first picks the object with a suction cup and handovers to the right arm for insertion. The whole process involves extreme rotations and severe occlusions from the robot arms. Despite these challenges, our tracking works robustly. Our final reconstruction successfully recovers all visible faces from the video. Finally, we show how bundle SDF can be applied to wild settings. Here, I'm carrying the camera in the left hand and use the right hand to interact with the milk jug. Therefore, both camera and the object can be dynamic, and the bundle SDF is still applicable. The video is captured from an egocentric view, and the 3D box is overlaid to show possible applications of augmented reality. As more faces of the milk are observed, the neural reconstruction gradually converge to a complete shape. Users can also apply bundle SDF immediately to their own objects with an iPhone without worrying about out-of-distribution generalization. Here, the video is captured with an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Despite the noisy and low-resolution point cloud, the pumpkin doll is reconstructed successfully.